so oh my god i am in love with these nails so um, i'm doing a lot of collaborations at the moment um i needed to kick myself into gear with getting inspired again so i thought i'd team up with some other nail techs some nail artists and do some collaborations um so i often work better when i've got like a an idea or a theme in my head so i did really enjoy creating all of these collaborations i've still got three or four more to do so yeah this is yeah. It's a lot of fun. So this one today is with the fabulous Kaz Dixon. I've known Kaz, f oh, many, many years. Uh, she was one of my fairies in the Glitter Fairy. She is awesome. We've had a fair few a boozy nights um, and good times. And I love her. She's such a lovely, lovely, sweet person. She's literally just started up her YouTube channel. So please do head on over, give her a like, subscribe. She's got some fab videos on there already. Um, so I thought I'd like to do a little collaboration with her so I can hopefully um, encourage some of my followers to go and check her out. So we went for the theme of spring sunshine and I have created this set um, very much like I did a mood board. Um, you, I'll put a link in the description below. I've also, um, if you follow me on social, you'll have seen, um, I tagged um, Alina Hoyo, Moyo, oh, I've forgotten her bloody name. Uh, <laughs> Um, basically, if you check out my Instagram, you'll see that um, I was heavily inspired by someone I follow um, with these nails. I've also written a blog recently um, regarding giving credit where it's due. So I'll link that blog below too if you'd like to have a little read of that. It's only a few minutes long. Um, so yeah, so I was heavily inspired by two sets of nails I saw um, by Alina. I think it's Alina Hoyo. I'm terrible. I forget my own name most days, so please don't take it personally. Um... So I'm starting off, I've um, fitted my forms, I've applied a thin clear base and then I'm coming in with Rosy Peach from HD Pro. These are going to be long nails so I'm doing, I'm extending the nail bed as you can see um, a little less than half of the free edge extension. Like, I can't find the words. Oh, I've got to yawn at you now. Um, so I've created that free edge um, with my acrylic. I've then added a second bead of acrylic behind. Um, so always using my brush um, to create a nice wall um, with that smile line. And then going to cap this in glassy pink. So it's going to make that pop nicely. And then when it's all set and cured, I'm going to come in with my file and file in my smile line, making sure I'm pushing against the acrylic, not down onto the form and nail. Um, so I always make sure like the corners of my smile lines, they start where the natural free edge starts. Um, obviously, if I was working on a client, I'd have left that to set, gone ahead and started working on the other nails and then filed, these, filed the smile lines in at the end. As I said in another video, or maybe I said in a video that I then lost, <laughs> um, I'm very much just taking my time with these sets. I'm just being chilled, really enjoying the process of creating nails, not putting any pressure on myself. So I'm literally doing one nail at a time rather than kind of like the back and forth the, you know speeding up that you'd need to do um, in a salon I also find it a lot easier because when I'm working on my practice hand the forms don't always stay put where you want them so I do have to kind of once a form is on I like to pretty much keep hold of it until I have finished that nail because otherwise sometimes they'll shift a bit I'm then coming in with peppermint cream this is from Hazel Dixon this is from her candy collection oh my god there are no words I love this color <laughs> it is so so pretty i'm just obsessed with it i'm pretty sure yeah i had this on my nails recently actually I had it with my um flip nails and i just oh it's just divine isn't it so i'm just going to create a full color tip with this making sure i go right up against that nice crisp 
crisp smile line I've filed in and just building up that acrylic and acrylic until I'm happy with the shape and structure of this nail. Then moving on to the ring finger, I'm just coming in and applying that thin clear base again. And then I'm going to come in with Lemon Sorbet. This is another one from the Candy Shop Collection. This looks a bit brighter, a little more neon on the screen than it actually is. Um, it's ever so slightly softer than this. Um, so if you're looking for a lovely, soft, well-pigmented lemon, this is definitely the one for you. So making sure I'm getting a really nice coverage with this um, acrylic and then once I'm happy that I've got a nice solid yellow I'm then going to cap this in clear acrylic.
And then onto the next again, applying another thin clear base. And with this now we're going for an ombre, so I'm coming in with that yellow at the about the centre but just over that free edge line. I'm going to blend it up, so I, I always work on getting the nice blend first and now I'm going to worry about getting a full yellow tip. And once I'm happy with that yellow, I'm then going to come in again with rosy peach. I'm applying that by the cuticle area and then I'm going to blend down and as always work in layers until I've got that nice blend that I want. And once they're all blended together, I'm then going to come in with my clear acrylic and cap that entire nail. And then the index finger is going to be the same as the little finger. So I'm coming in first of all with that rosy peach and I'm just applying that 
on the form, making sure I'm making that extended area the same size as the little finger. I used a much smaller bead here, so I was buggering about for too long. Basically, I should have used a slightly larger bead here. So I always get my blend back first. I always really focus on your blend because you want to make sure you don't end up with hard lines because that's what will cause shadowing in your acrylic. So always get that nice blend back and then I'm going to use my brush to create a nice crisp wall and create that nice smile line. Then coming in with a second bead of acrylic, just getting a nice blend back towards the cuticle area. And then I'm going to pull and blend it forward towards the tip, making sure, again, there'll be no shadowing. And then I'm just going to make sure I crisp up that smile line again. The more you do with the brush, the less you have to do with the file. And then my final bead just by the cuticle area just to get that a nice blend and then again I will cap this in glassy pink. And then when it's all cured, I'm then going to file this in. And then for this now, I went for the pink in the Candy Shop collection, and this is called Laffy Taffy. So again, I'm going to use this full colour just to create a full colour tip.
I then failed to press record while I was filing. <laughs> um, and while I was filing, I managed to bing the little nail off. So that keeps dropping off as I'm trying to add decoration. But I'm just going to add a few Swarovski crystals. So these are Citrine Shimmer. And I'm just adding these um, a bit randomly. I've got an idea in my head where the design is going to go. So I'm adding these because these are going to be the center of my flowers. Then I'm going to top coat the nails and I'm going to top coat them with the Make It Matte top coat from Hazel Dixon, making sure I go round those crystals. And then that will be cured in my light for 60 seconds. And then we're going to get on with the artwork. So first of all, it is the mattest matte top coat you'll ever use in your life. And then going to come in with some HD Pro. These are the gel art paints. This is Canary mixed with Casper. So the yellow and white. And I'm just creating cute, like the little teardrop, little petal shapes um to create my little flower so this like the bridal set i did the other day i'm creating the petals and i'm not going to do a full round flower i'm going to leave part of it open like a few petals have been lost so as not to ruin the line of the smile line because i think if you did a full flower you're just covering up the smile line whereas if you leave a few petals out it it um accentuates the smile line if that makes sense
And then when I'm happy with the design, I'm popping that in my LED light and I'm curing for uh, two minutes. And then I'm going to come in and I'm just going to use a slightly bigger bead and I'm just going to add a bit of depth to these. So I just wanted them to be um, a little more proud off the nail. And then once I've added that, I did do a quick flash cure for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to come in with, this is Tiffany from HG Pro again. So these are all HG Pro um, gel paints. And I'm just going to add um, a few like swooshes with like little leaf details. And again, flash cure. No, I didn't. I did a full cure for those because next I'm going to do um, an outlined petal flower. So I'm going to be using this with that same yellow and I'm going to be creating just a very simplistic daisy design just around one of these flowers, uh, one of these crystals. And don't be afraid to turn your plant or your your practice hands upside down, back to front, stuff like that, so that you can get the design how you want it. And then sprinkling on some crystal superfine in rainbow. And then I'm going to do a full cure of that. 
and then once I'm it's all cured I'm then gonna brush that off so as you can see that's just left a slightly textured nail and then round the other two crystals on this hand on this nail sorry i'm then going to do outline but i'm just going to leave them how they are i'm not going to put the textured finish to them so i have sped this up because otherwise we would be here all day And then I kind of looked at it and was like, mm, there's not quite enough there. So I then came in with some green bits as well. And I thought that will pull it all together. So with every nail, I kind of wanted to have either the yellow or green just to keep pulling the design together. So make sure that it flowed across the entire hand. We're now moving on to the ombre nail. So I'm going to do flowers similar to what I did on the little finger. But I'm going to do these not over the entire nail. I'm just going to do on like half of the nail. So diagonally across. I didn't want to do full, full nail of loads of flowers. I just wanted to keep it nice and delicate and quite simple. So I'm going to use, I can't remember what these are called now. These are all just, as I said, HD paints. This is like the pastel pink one. Um, so I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do a lilac one too.
So when I'm all finished with that, I then popped these in the lamp. And again, I did a, I can't remember if I flash cooled or did a full cure. Um, I then put little yellow dots and then I used, I remember this because this blue is actually called cornflower and I wanted to make little cornflower type little flowers. I'm just doing the most simplest little dot and dash flowers. I just thought this would pull this design together. It will just keep it that lovely, sweet, very simple, delicate summer not summer, spring design. And again, just adding a few bits of the green swooshing in between just to pull all of these nails together. And then we're on to the final now. And this one I'm going to do a line um, flower. So I wanted to alternate the types of flowers I did. And I wanted to do a line flower and I'm going to do these textured. Now having done this, when I finished this design, this is, using this technique, you could really, it could be so versatile. You could turn this into a little butterfly, into a bow and ribbons. You could do so much from the simplest, they're just a few lines. Again, I didn't want to smother that smile line, so I'm being very careful to follow it and just kind of respect it so that you still have that lovely deep smile line showing through on the nail. And then when I finished that now, I'm just going to sprinkle that with the crystal super fine glitter. And then I'm going to pop that in my LED lamp. Now, this was the final cure. So I left, I did a double, double cure. So it was in for 120 and then I did it again for 120. Um, just because when I've been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with gel, I do like to do just a final double, double cure. And then when it's all finished, dust off and we're done.
so I really hope you've enjoyed this video guys I really enjoyed creating this nails um, I think on the thumb I'd probably go for like either a crisp smile line with yellow or I'd do a full yellow nail uh, yeah really enjoyed doing this set I hope you've enjoyed doing this video um, hope you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to go check out Kaz I'm going to put a link to her video below thank you for tuning in and I'll see you all again soon bye